Hi, my name is Akonde Jacob Ozove here and I'm a technical consulting engineer with the Cisco Tax Server Virtualization Team. In this video, I describe how to configure Secure LDAP on UCSC series servers. I recommend you visit an earlier video on standard LDAP configuration on C-Series. Please find the link to that video in the description section of this video. Starting with the same scenario as in the standard UCSC series LDAP configuration video, this implementation has the necessary adjustments to support secure LDAP configuration. Set up a DNS server allowing the use of domain names for the LDAP server instead of an IP address on the UCS server. Ensure that the appropriate A records have been configured to point to both the LDAP server and the UCSC series server IP addresses. Configure Windows Certificate Services on the LDAP server, enabling certificate generation for secure LDAP communication. The generated certificates, root and intermediate, must be uploaded onto the UCSC series server. To configure UCSC series server to interact with a pre-configured DNS server, access the CIMC interface of the UCS server. Then click on the navigation icon located in the top left corner. Navigate to admin and choose networking. Under the IPv4 properties section, impute the previously configured DNS server fully qualified domain name or IP address in the preferred DNS server field and click on save changes in the bottom right corner. Next, in the navigation pane select admin and choose user management. Under the user management page, select LDAP. In the configure LDAP servers section, under the pre-configured LDAP servers, Delete the previously configured LDAP server IP address and replace with the fully qualified domain name of the LDAP server. The example used in this video is LDAP server .video -test .local. Change the port number from 389 to 636, which is the well-known port number for secure LDAP. Click on Save Changes and OK to accept the new value. Next, in the LDAP settings section, check the Enable Secure LDAP checkbox. In the pop-up window, select the Paste Certificate Content option. For this lab, a self-signed certificate is used, generated from the Windows Server instance running Active Directory and saved in a text file. The self-signed certificate has also been concatenated with the root certificate from the same server to form a certificate chain. Note that the entire content of the Base64 encoded x.509cer file starting from the begin certificate to end certificate needs to be copied. Then immediately on the next line must be the next certificate starting from the begin certificate to the end certificate in cases where multiple certificates are used. Paste the copied content into the paste certificate content field and click on upload certificate. All other settings in Secure LDAP remain the same as the previous standard LDAP configuration for C-Series servers. Therefore, click on Save Changes in the overall LDAP configuration page. Now, Secure LDAP has been successfully configured on the UCS C-Series server. To verify this, attempt to log into the UCS C-Series server using one of the configured user accounts. Test user 1 login is successful over Secure LDAP. Thanks for watching.